Hey guys, what's welcome back to our tech is and in this video I'm gonna show how to fix a dead iPhone or a black screen iPhone. So this is the iPhone success in my hand and the problem is that stuck on this black screen. It's not getting on. Just when I uh, connect it to charger it's stuck on the small iTunes logo. So that's it. That's the problem. And when I disconnect it again, it's completely on the black screen. Completely there's nothing on this screen. When I try to turn it on, still it's same. So no uh, sign of power in this device. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that in a simple way. So here it is, uh, Doctor iPhone iTunes repairs. So from here you can fix this kind of issue if your uh, phone like breaks up like this or even any iTunes error, you can repair all all of that from this Doctor iPhone iTunes repair. So here it is um, some of the. Uh, so here you can see uh, all kind of iTunes error can be fixed by this iTunes repair even I uh, error 14 or error 300 3100 also repair by that doctor phone so let's uh, simply open this tool so it is I have already downloaded this tool you can also download it from the given link below the description after download simply install it and then open the repair option from there and here you can see uh, th there all these uh, kind of problems can be fixed by this iTunes repair so stuck a white Apple logo screen black screen of death which is problem of my phone slide to upgrade iPhone is blocked recovery stuck on the recovery mode or activation error so whatever the problem this can be fixed so simply uh, let's start it so here it is black screen of death is the problem of this phone right now so let's simply start and here you can see connect to device connect your ios device to pc so simply connect it as you just simply connect it but make sure uh, the cable must be original or a data transferring cable not only charging cable so that's it so make sure of that so after that simply connect it and it will auto recognize so in case uh, like if your device does not recognize automatically then you require to uh, set up it as a manually to recognize your device so for that you require to click device is not connected but not recognized so thus you need to follow these three methods to connect it for them so right now in my case uh, it's already automatically detected so let's simply connect it and let's check it out first okay here you see all the device models all this everything is there so simply click over the next and you require to download the files for your device it will automatically select everything you just click on the download and download will be on process it the downloading procedure will completely takes depends upon the network speed some in some cases it takes around 10 to 15 minutes in some cases from 15 to 30 minutes it's completely on the network speed so right now I have uh, just fast forwarding this video so that's why it seems to speed is so much but normally it takes me around 15 10 to 15 minutes to download the whole three gifts of file so it's okay here it is it seems to be completed almost 4 mbps per second uh, so after that it will verify the firmware package for your is it compatible or your device or it will also uh, tell you able to tell you the jailbreak status of your phone everything so right now it's verifying the package after verifying it will automatically start it will not actually automatically start because it, it has very good option to um, backup of your data it will complete it you can do restore this device without losing your data even so right now the phone will be restored in some for the fixing of this uh, black screen problem so let's see okay so here it is firmware is ready to complete 
already completed so retain native data if you unmark that then your data will be lost so i will suggest you to mark it until um, marked it to gain the uh, regain your all the data of your device so so make sure to check mark that and then after that click on the fix now it will start the repairing your system so the device will start uh, repairing so for the repairing of this device it also takes around 20 to maximum 20 minutes around it will takes it's dip completely also depends on the network speed and sometimes in cases for a uh, device also in some device like it takes more time in some device it's like takes many less time so it's also depends on the device for in most of the cases it takes around 10 to 15 minutes maximum up to it's 20 minutes it will not take more than 20 minutes for that so if you're uh, taking 10 20 minutes then you need to change the cable for that so after that uh, okay repairing the, op the operating system has been completed so i am right now attempting the data recovery so the i am getting the recovery of the data so right now you can see um, the data is restoring now on the device so let's give the password for that so again it will start another procedure for that for that let me check some another thing that is all and very important thing is that you must require uh, the original cable which comes with the phone in i have seen that um, sometime people using the own duplicate cables while restoring this so in this case you might be uh, take most of the time so let's see check it out after giving the password so okay update is completed okay trust okay password update completed continue continue agree agree uh, continue screen time okay continue okay so here it is all done you can see uh, still uh, the applications are already installed here even call logs are also there even photos are also there everything is on the way so if you like this video then please click on thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe